I found this list. Uh, it was put together by Reddit and compiled by BuzzFeed. Uh, I remember we found this when my mom was in town. The, uh, I was reading it out loud to Brittany and my mom. We were having a good time with this list. Okay. Uh, it's a list of things that you never dreamed you'd be excited about as an adult when you were a kid. Like when you were a kid, you would never have thought that these things would be exciting to you. But in fact, as an adult, they are. Right. For example, number one, cats. Yeah. What was? What's the first one on the list? The sight of a full tank of gas. When you saw that, you're like, oh my God, that's so true. I, I'm like, I, I'm telling you, anytime I have to put gas in my car, if I can actually fill the tank mm -hmm. and I get in and it's sitting on, on F for full, it's a good day. When I didn't have to pull in and just put 10 bucks in because that was all I could put in today. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. So a full tank of gas, absolutely. That makes me feel good. It's a proud moment. It uh, is. I love this one. Uh, and sometimes you even get excited about this on the air, like a plan free weekend Oh, yeah. Like, as a teenager or a college student, like, I would feel kind of like a loser if I had no plans on a weekend. Mm -hmm. Now, as a grown-up, it's like, this is the best thing ever. Oh, yeah. It's like you've arrived. Yes, exactly. I can do whatever I want to this whole weekend, and no one's going to bother me. And, and me being the antisocial one takes us to our next one, the feeling of having plans being canceled. <laughs> Absolutely. When you, when you have things, and you're like, man, I really just want a nothingless weekend. <laughs> And I don't have a nothing this weekend because I committed to do this thing with that person. And then that person calls you. And it's not that you it's not that you don't like the person. It's not that you won't have yes. fun doing that thing, whatever that thing is. It's just I really don't want to I don't want to people. And so, you know, sometimes when things get canceled, I'm always like, ah. No people like me. It's, it's it's so true. Day. It's so true. It's it's not even like I don't like you. I just made plans with you, and I never wanted to do them in the first place. Well, it's not even. No, 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 no. It's not even that. It's it's. I probably really wanted to do them when I made the plans, but then the day rolls around, and it's like God, this week's been so long, and today, and I didn't sleep last <laughs> night, and I really I need to clean my apartment, and I just I just want to. I just want to Netflix and chill. Just me and my blanket. That's I want to Netflix and chill with my blanket. There my blanket go. is Bay right now. <laughs> That's fantastic. Number five. I feel like I can relate to this one. The concept of love. Aw. I avoided it like the plague. Sure. Up until two, three years ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, you guys are so cute. I love it. <laughs> I really do. I love it. I well, love thank seeing you. you happy. I love seeing you two together. I love how like she does little things to take care of you. And well, I she's doing more than little things to take care of me yeah, now. Yeah, I know. And I know you're super sweet to her, too, so it's good. I like it. We, we've got a good thing going on. I'm very happy. Thank you for saying that, Kat, and, and right back at you. Uh, so, yeah, I can relate to the concept of love, the fifth one on this list, because it just it was something that not only did it not entice me, it was like, no, thank you. Sure. Just, just no. What's um, the next one? The next one are the activities related to love. I think they're being like uh, lovey-dovey there, a little, you know... Uh, the, the picture shows, yeah, it's, it says, uh, the thing that was shared says kisses from girls. When you're very young, sure. that can be scary. But now, yeah, those things, not so much. Oh, yeah. The feeling of being clean. Like, I <laughs> remember being a kid and, like, you know, bath time felt like a chore. Oh, yeah, I don't know how many times when, when Elizabeth was little, and I hope she doesn't kill me for this, when she was little and she didn't want to take a bath. Oh, yeah. And, you know, because nobody wants to take a bath. And I'm like, dude, you have to take a bath because <laughs> I'm not going to be the mom of the smelly kid. Right. I will not be the mom of the stinky kid, so go take a shower. That's nothing to be embarrassed about. Every kid's like that yeah. when you're when you're a kid. But now... Now you take a shower and it's like, oh, yeah. There's some times where I take him, I'm not even dirty. Like I got home from work, but I work in radio. I'm not. I'm not heavy lifting, but I just want to. I just want to shower the radio off me, please. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Uh, what's the next one? Um, the feeling of actually cleaning. Like, yes. Not getting clean in the shower, but cleaning. You know, your apartment. Spending thirty minutes to clean up the house. This one is. Um, for me, it's not the feeling of cleaning. It's the accomplishment of it being clean. Because yes. I got to tell you, I loathe to clean. When I it, hate doing dishes. I hate vacuuming. Vacuuming makes me sneeze. Yeah. You know, scrubbing the bathtub hurts my knees. It's just, it's, there's nothing enjoyable about that. But when it's done mm -hmm. and you sit down and put your feet up and you're like, ah, yeah, it's clean. Brittany has this, uh, I, I guess a tradition or this, uh, this thing she does when we finish cleaning a room, she lights a candle in it. And I'm like, that when, you know, I get it because when that room is perfectly clean and the candle is lit, it's like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Yeah. I totally get this now. Well, that's a cool thing. I think you and I can relate to this one. As a kid, you hated taking naps. Oh yeah. Nobody wanted to take the nap. But now as a grown up, especially one who wakes up at four in the morning, 
A quick energizing nap? Oh my gosh, yeah. Sure. And oh quick, my gosh, yeah. You know, quick is subjective. I mean, for you, it may be an hour. For me, it might be five. Right. But, you know, I, I love naps. My average nap is going about two hours, I would think. That's a nap to me. It's a good nap. Oh, and the excitement of the extra satisfaction of a full eight hours of sleep. Absolutely. I mean, who would have thought... As, you know, when when the doctors recommend eight hours of sleep in a night, and you're as, and like you're in college, and you're like, yeah, okay, maybe when I'm fifty. Yeah, it's not it's not exactly that way. No. I call those weekends <laughs> when, when I get eight hours of yeah. sleep. I well, I get eight hours of sleep if it's if it's you combine my nap and what I sleep <laughs> at night. The concept of financial planning. Oh, it is. It is. It makes me. I, I do not get excited about this. I gotta tell you, it, it makes me anxious. My palms get sweaty. Um, I, I get um, heart Here. palpitations. When I'm able to stash a little bit away for a paycheck, and then I see my savings account go up in the next statement, makes me a little excited. What's a savings account? <laughs> you have money to put away after your paychecks. I'm over here like. Uh, I got money for food and I have money for gas in my car. My bills are paid. Hey, That's a good day.